In this video, we look at how to rule up the guidelines and work out the X height of the letter. Italic script is generally written between four to six. It can quite easily also be written between four to eight. So the first thing we do is we produce a horizontal line which is parallel to the bottom or the top of the page. And I'm simply using two set squares together. Very lightly make the horizontal line. Once you have the line, you make something called a nib ladder. So the nib ladder is the width of the nib. Place the corner on the line, like so. One. Corner to corner, two, three, four, five, six. The next thing you'll do is you'll rule that line from the, from the four That is your X height. So this is your baseline, and that's the X height, also known as the waistline. The next thing that we can do with the X height, so this was a uh, calligraphy one marker, which is a five, and I'm going to use the 3.5 on the calligraphy two marker to re-rule the X heights. So I'm going to show you a different way to produce a nib ladder. So we have one, two, this is slightly trickier, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. But I'm also going to rule below one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we have, we're going to work at four for the X height and one, two, three, four for the ascender, and six for the cap height, and one, two, three, four for the descender line. With the 3.5 calligraphy 2 marker, we have an X height, an ascender line, and a descender line. We also have a cap height line. And it's from here we can see variations in the letter height. So we're going to choose different heights. I'm going to drop some lines in again on the 5 and the 7. And we're going to look at how the letter can vary in different heights. So we have A at 4, at 5. Six at seven and at eight. 
Notice the letters stay fairly narrow. You can actually make a large letter with the same name at eight. It just looks a little bit light. But you can go back in and use this for some kind of decorative element. You could go in and fill this with color, which we'll look at in a later video.